What's up everybody? Welcome back to Creek Star Collects. Or not welcome back, welcome if it's your first time. Uh, today I'm going to be rounding up my Naruto figure arts uh, reviews by looking at Sasuke finally. Uh, I say rounding up as in the first wave, I believe it was Sasuke, uh, Sakura and Naruto and Kakashi that they all released. Um, in the Shippuden series, basically. And now they're obviously all coming out with the original series. So we've got Naruto, which I've got somewhere. Uh, I'm waiting for Sasuke to be released here in England. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, no, Orochimaru as well I've got on pre-order. Uh, and I'm not sure how to get hold of Jiraiya yet, because I think it's all um, exclusive event stuff, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, today we're just gonna be looking that's Sasuke then. So just give me a quick tour of the box. It's pretty standard issue if you've ever, you know, I think you know what you're looking at really. Same thing as always, got the sticker here. Just going over all the Japanese stuff, all different languages. Sasuke and all his poses. It sort of tells you what he comes with. Obviously he's got some swords and stuff. You can see kind of in here what's going on. But we're gonna crack him open and we'll have a look. Right, let's have a look then, shall we? So, let's go along this edge. Hey, oh, my knife probably needs sharpening. I'm gonna do both sides, just because. Oh, crap. I'm gonna also cut half the box off. Right. Take them out. There we go. Is there anything? Yeah. So there's the instructions. So unlike the Dragon Ball ones, these ones still come with the paper instructions um, separately. Get out of way. Uh, so what we've got here, let's have a look. We have got one, two, three. Three face plates, one, two, three. Plus the one he's already wearing, so four all together. Detached the front of his hair, pretty straightforward. Um, warnings may rub off. What does that mean? There's a warning already. Warning may rub off. I don't know what that's talking about. We'll have a look at that. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of hands and the Chidori effect part. So right, tells you how to do all that. Oh, and, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, and we've got the sword. And yeah, I think that's it, yeah. Mountain, mount, yeah, okay, yeah. So you can mount it in his hand, you can mount it in his hand, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Looking good so far. Right, plastic coffin release time, let's go. Huzzah. Okay, let's see how easy it is. Right, this is a test I like to, yeah, straight away, look at that. What am I thinking of? Something I've had recently that was an absolute nightmare to get out of them. So, oh, all right, straight away, soft, good. So all this here, that's all soft and bendy and, okay. So just check those arms. What does it say? Something about rubbing off. Warning may rub off and it's pointing. Does it mean the color might rub off onto the skin or? I don't know what that means yet. Uh, anyway, to get rid of that. We'll have a proper look at the figure in a second. I just wanted to go over, yeah, what it comes with. So yeah, that's all soft goods. That's quite nice actually. So that'd be good for posing. Paint detail. I mean, like we always go over, Tomashi Nation's always knock it out of the park, don't they? Look at the application, those eyes look spot on. The application of paint, otherwise they've got a little, little bit of silver on the zipper, that's all right, good actually. They've gone to the effort of uh, doing that for us. Might not always get that. I've got that on the back. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you all here. I never finished watching Shippuden. I did the original series, so I don't know much about Sasuke at this point. Um, it's something I need to go back and do. Just want to level with you all. Um, hopefully it won't impact my review. Well, it will do because I not know what half of this stuff is, I bet. So, quick, quick look at his faces first, his face plates. So that is, so I know the difference. No, I don't. Okay. I know he's got different eyes there. So the Sharrigan, obviously, I will be aware of. But we've got, oh, whatever that may be. 
we also have whatever that may be too. And we've got that faceplate. So you've got your three extra faceplates. We have, right. Watch this, you're gonna love this. Yeah! Shouldn't have done that really, should I? Never mind. Let's just go crazy. Right, get it all off the board. Come back. We've got the two sword pieces. So one of them. Ah, so that is the full sword piece. So that's with the hilt attached and everything to pose him with. So you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it on here actually. There is a, uh, there's a little cut segment there, basically, that um, shows you that's where the handle would be. So that's the full sword sheathed. You've got your full, entire full sword here for him to hold. And then what you have got is part of the sword, which what I saw in the instructions, you can basically put in somehow. Where is it? There we go. So you can have it half sheathed as if he's well, as if he's doing that basically, isn't it? That's what we're looking at with that bit. But if you look at it, yeah, it's actually got, so it's got a triangular piece for you. I don't know if you can even see that. It's hard to tell on this. Uh, if the camera will focus on that or not. Or if my light source is just gonna cast a shadow all over it. Either way, believe me when I say there is a triangular part here so you can't get it wrong it has to go in a specific way and then you attach it like that so that's that so obviously you can have it without if he wants the sword or you can have that in it now we've got the Chidori effect which we'll have a look at in a bit as well see how we attach that but it's cool that he's coming with an effect piece as well so he's got swords and effects he has got an extra ah Ah, is that, okay. There's a bit, ah. So there's a bit on the back you take off and then straight around as it goes, is it that way? Oh. I think it's that way. It just plugs in. Because it's all soft, it's really hard to get that in. No, I'm not keen on that. That's still not fully in. Huh. No, I'm going to come back to that. Yeah, that. So that just pops out. Does that one go back in as nice as it did? Oh, that one slips back in all right. Hands then. Hands. He comes with two holding open slight hands. He's got the two slightly relaxed hands. Then he's got your open hands. Thumbs up hand. He's got two, ah oh, yeah, they're holding the sword, aren't they? They're the, uh, again, referencing the box art. That's what those two hands are about. And then he's got these like tiger claw hands. Right, let's just take a quick look at how quickly and easy it is to change the face plates. So that should just come off like so. Oh, that's a cool haircut, isn't it? Hello. Oh, it's like one of those mannequins now, doesn't it? Ooh. Uh, oh, yeah, so the face plate just comes off like so. And then we'll choose, let's go with him. Pop that in, so that just plugs in, two plugs. Goes in. And the hair goes back on, simple as. And then obviously the hat. Okay, okay, I'll take everything back. Oh, crap, oh. All so, oh, right. Um, let's try that again then. Take two, let's go. And as simple as that. Let's just get some movement. Okay, oh no, it's, it is working itself loose again, actually. Obviously I'm not gonna be standing around head banging him, am I? So it's, it should be all right for poses. But yeah, that is coming off again, the more I move it. So whether that's just me, let's try a different face plate. Uh, let's grab that one. So again, you've only got the two, the two plugs that go in here, so it's only been held on by them. 
And I think the reinforcement is meant to be the hair. Because the hair's got the two, well, they're very... Oh, right, I think I've been gypped. All right, I don't know if you can see, in fact. Let's see if I can get that to focus. So, in fact, I use my pointer sword. Um, if you can see it, I've got one peg that will go in, and I've got half a peg, so it's not been fully moulded. I don't know if you can actually... I don't know if that actually helps. I think that casts more of a shadow, doesn't it? So that's half a peg there, and that's a full peg, so that side's not actually attaching, so that'll be the side that's working loose. You've got these extra two bits to hold it in, but, yeah, so that's not... Oh, that's crap. And that's not even... That's not broken, that's just... Well, no, because it came on the figure, didn't it? So it can't be broken. That's just literally just not moulded properly. So if you are going to get this figure, check... Oh, God, check your hair. Well, in fact, let's just check them all. There. So they all seem fine. So all the pegs on the faces are fine. It's just that it doesn't... I've just been too gentle. No. Okay, let's get it on with the hair that's meant to hold it in place. So that's not staying on. So right, okay. Issues already. Bloody hell. Uh, there we go. Right. Now be careful. But if you turn... Yeah, see this? A little bit. I'm breaking up of the figure there where the ball joint sits on his neck. And then turn it to one side, fine. Turn, yeah. Well, we've established that. I think I've over-established that now for you. It, uh, whether it's just mine, the face plates and the hair are a bit loosey-goosey, but I am missing half a peg on the hair. But as we saw, the face plate doesn't actually stain on its own anyway. So just be wary of that. So that's our first, first issue. Let's just test the hands out then, shall we, whilst we're here. Let's take off that hand. Let's pop that one in. So they pop, well that one pops on fine. Let's just do another test comparison. And, oh. Yep, okay. Hands, yep, they seem to go on fine. That's basically the, the ins and outs and the basics of it. I'll, uh, let's have a look at some articulation, shall we? And we'll have a go with some of the accessories. Hey right, let's have a look at this articulation then first, shall we? Start with the feet again, as always, his little feet. Um, he's got the same, oh, go on, focus, go on, you want it, you know you want it. He's got the same issue Sakura had. They're not really, they put like a skin tone on his toes, but you know, it's, they kind of look like dead toes. It's not much else going on there, but that's what they've done. He's got the toe articulation, he's got, the ankle swivels and all the same stuff that goes on there. Uh huh. He has got. Ah, so here we go. He has got articulation just here. So what they've done is to separate it. Okay, that's quite cool. So just under the knee, top of the calf, is that, let's say? Let's get our anatomy correct. Um, they put a little joint there, hidden by his sandals that he's wearing, which is quite cool. I like when they do that, when they can break it up and get it into the. Uh, the figure based off their uh, stuff, stuff, clothes, things they're wearing, that stuff, that jazz. So yeah, he's got full swivel there, ankle. He's got his knees. So yeah, standard Tamashi Nation knee joints. I think you can kind of see there. And then he's got, yeah, the Tamashi Nation's figure arts, like the hip separation joint like so you can do the full hip swivel i'm gonna break it i'm gonna break it no that goes around quite well he can oh he can basically do the full splits though look at check my boy out yeah sasuke the splits uchiha um so yeah that's quite good actually i'm impressed with that and obviously it'd be the same all across across the other leg um he's got this soft goods though so it doesn't hinder the figure in any way. These just all bend out of the way as you've just seen. It all sort of gets out of his way, which is a really nice touch. Uh, that's going to help quite a lot with some of the posing. And again, this whole bit here, that's all. 
yeah, that's quite soft as well. Although it feels like it might, oh no, it's on a little peg joint by the looks of that. So it's not gonna break as easily as I thought. I felt like it was gonna break then, but it's literally pegged in there. And I think, yeah, that's like it's the same on that one as well. So yeah, you could probably, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ah, well demonstrated timing. Uh, yeah, so look, they come off and you can put them back together, just like that. Perfecto. So again, soft goods translates all the way up here. But what does that mean for my boy when he wants to touch his toes? He can. He can bend with all of his might and his legs and his leg joints, but if he's gonna sit up and ab crunch, ugh, you know, that's not, I suppose it's not bad actually, is it? Yeah, that's not near bad, I guess. He's got the breakup of the, I think Naruto had a similar thing. Has he got, it's hard to, hard to tell really, but you've got the, there's a piece there, then a set, this is a separate piece, then you've got the bit in between, and then you've got that bit that sits on top. So essentially, if I can see, yeah, you can kind of see that bit there is technically just one separate piece, I think. Oh crap. Oh yeah, there we go. That all comes off. Oh look, more bits are coming off. Hey! It's all falling apart. To be honest, actually, that is one thing I want to say. This figure does actually, it feels a bit cheaper than the others. I don't know what it is. Something about the plastic or the way it's made. I mean, I'm skipping ahead, but check out that. If you can, hang on. Can you see that piece of plastic there? That's like, it's not been shaved off, filed down or anything. That's just a piece of extra plastic. I mean, what's that about? That shouldn't be there. That should be a nice smooth bit of arm. I've got, I don't know what that is. That shouldn't be there. Anyway, right, let's get rid of these bits that keep coming off. We have got your standard rotation at the wrist. We've got, oh, is that paint all painted on? You've got your elbow joints. You can flex on you. Hello. Ladies, he's got, yeah, oh right, so yeah, they've got a rotation in there. <laughs> they've got, is that a separate piece? So that piece looks like it sits over the two joints, perhaps, just to sort of mask it. Oh, is that just a separate piece? Yeah, so that breaks it up a bit. You've got your... Yeah, all your standard issue, shoulder joint articulation. There we go, I think, yeah, so he can't. Oh yeah, he can bring his arm across. Yeah, he can hold his arm up his back like he's being arrested or something. So yeah, it's pretty much what you expect, isn't it? To machinations, figure arts, it's what you get in. So that's, I'm happy with that. But his neck, this is the whole thing. So his neck, that, oh, this all feels loose. You can probably tell it's not, it's obviously just, uh, just got the one ball joint there, I think, can that? There we go, yeah. So you got your, oh, is that just a double peg ball joint? Plugs into that. So you've got a little piece of hair, which I think is glued on. Yeah, that looks like it's fully attached. He says until I move it and it probably falls off. Uh, and then you just got the neck piece. Yeah, that's it. So it can't, it doesn't turn much. You can turn it there, there. But with that in, that's when you get all the, that's where all the turning comes from. So if I put his face back on. So if he wants to look, oh, well you can't. <laughs> so, <laughs> So yeah, when you turn it, it breaks it like that. Um, so you've got, you're limited because, yeah, if I turn, yeah. So that's, if I went, huh, what was that? Oh my God, I'm, oh, the end. That's not the way Naruto will have ended or should have ended, is it? Don't turn your head too quickly, kids. Could be the death of you. So yeah, you're kind of limited to what you can do. Turn it too far either way and you're faceless, mate. You're done. But what can you do? I say, you're not playing with these. So what you do is you'd pose it carefully and then you'd leave him. 
wouldn't you? That's what I'm going to be doing anyway. I'm going to choose a pose. Ah, oh, I've just realised. Oh, he doesn't come with one of the shocked expressions. Ah, oh, damn it. That's oh, ruined my whole setup. I've got. Ah, oh, my other guys have all got the shocked expression faces on it. They're my favourite. And he doesn't come with one because he's so serious. Crap. Oh well. That's a shame. That's ruined that bit for me. But still, so far, yeah, it's. I don't know. I want to say it's a great figure overall, but there's a lot of stuff going on that keeps popping off and coming apart, but that's just me being heavy handed perhaps. Maybe not with the head actually, that's probably just... So this bit I'm still not, I'm not keen on, because it just doesn't sit, the peg doesn't go far enough in. Look at that. That's the best you're going to get. I don't think that's very good looking, but let me get a sword, let's put a sword in. Holds the sword, all right. That one pushes in nicely, look at that. It was so good that I didn't even know where it was to start with and I couldn't find it straight away. So that, if you want to pose it like that, that's fine. I say these come off as we know now, but again, if you're not as heavy handed as I am, you should be all right. Let's have a quick look at his paint application on the faces. So there we go. I'm not gonna try and pretend I know what the eyes all are. I'm obviously, I know the Sharrigan eye from the original series, but after that, I'm at a loss. So I'm just going to show you the eyes, all the heads and the paint application, which I think they've done, you know, top notch job on again, as usual. Seducing eyes, hello, I'm Sasuke with no hair. Let's have a quick look at the close up of the effect piece before we start attaching stuff on. So it's all just soft plastic again with a little bit of dry brushing at the end by the looks of it. See, they're a bit sloppy with some of these actually. I don't know if you can see that. A bit extra plastic again on there. I'll have to file down myself if I want to get rid of that. That's... Yeah, I'm almost, it almost feels like I've got a knockoff version, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. I ordered it from a, oh look, look at that. That's even a sharp piece. What the hell's going on here? I ordered it from a uh, reputable source, so I shouldn't be getting any dodgy crap. Now, height-wise, Sasuke stands just shy of six inches, so he's five and a bit inches. Now, if we were to compare him to the other Naruto figures, and in comparison to the other Naruto figures in this line so far, or the ones I've opened so far, you can see that Sasuke is just taller than Sakura, a bit shorter than Naruto. It might just be the posing, or they're very similar. And then obviously Kakashi on the end there is still the tallest out of them all. Here's just a size comparison between a Super 7 uh, Green Ranger figure and a Joy Toy Blood Angels Space Marine from Warhammer 40k. And just a quick comparison, so on the left of him, uh, well, his right, our left, we've got Goku from the SH Figure Arts line, we've got Saitama from the Nendoroid line, and we've got Cyclops from the Marvel Legends. Just a quick size comparison from those guys. I'm just quickly trying to take some photos of some poses, and I think I've kind of worked out oh, how this is meant to go. So as I was saying earlier, it looked a bit ugly, so it doesn't plug in all the way as we established. But I think the idea is because once the sword goes in, it's got to tilt and turn. So that's what that's designed for. So it's going to look a bit ugly at the back, but the whole sole reason for this is basically so you can twist the sword to come out so he can hold it. So if I went, oh, let's go that way, let's say. Just like that, you see? And, ooh. So that's the general idea of this. So it's not gonna look pretty at the back, but that's why they've designed it like that. So I'll, yeah, give them a pass on that because it works, isn't it? It's functional. And you're gonna be looking at him from the front anyway. So that, I'll let them, yeah, I've worked it out. Took me a while. Got there in the end. And lastly and quickly is the Chidori effect and this literally you just take a hand off and it just plugs 
in. Like that. And then you can start posing him in all kinds of ways. Simple as that. I quite like that. I thought it was going to go over the hand, but I'm happy it works like that. Final thoughts then. I like this figure. Uh, it doesn't feel quite the same as some of the other guys. I'm not sure what it is about it. Um, obviously, we had some issues with the peg on the hair. So the peg only being half formed means the hair is fairly unsecure. Uh, so you've got to be careful when moving it around. But as we established, you don't play with these, do you? They're, they're display pieces. So you get them into your, your pose, regardless of how many issues you have with things falling off, coming apart. I think we all know what that was like. Um, and then, yeah, once you get into your pose, that's it. You know, he's there for a while until you decide to change something or pose him again. The paint application is spot on, same as Tomashi Nations, they always knock it out of the park there, you know, the figure looks just like he would do or like he does in the anime and everything, so they've got all that spot on, other than like some of the just the plastic issues, like those extra sharp bits on the hands and that bit on the arm, I'm not sure what was going on there, it does, it gave me the impression it felt a bit cheaper for some reason, and compared to the other three that I've opened, so like Naruto, Sakura and Kakashi, they all felt a bit more robust, I guess. Um, so that was my only real gripe about this one. Um, so I don't know what happened there. If you've made it this far, guys, thank you for watching. If you're returning, thank you again for coming back. If you're new, thank you for tuning in. And hopefully, most of you will come back for the next one. Uh, we'll do some more painting videos and some more unboxing videos, all kinds of stuff. We'll just keep throwing it out there and see what happens. Anywho, thank you again, and hopefully I'll catch you soon. Bye!